everyone welcome back to my channel it's me Rula I hope everyone is doing well I know it's been a while since I've posted a video um, in the beginning of October I was quite sick with a cold and uh, I actually was on work holidays uh, during the week of Halloween uh, so uh, yes I just wanted to enjoy the uh, spooky season and so I took a break uh, from uh, posting any videos uh, for any of you who do celebrate Halloween. I hope you guys had a great um, night um, or a great spooky season. Uh, the weather here in Canada where I live in was absolutely wonderful. It was quite warm uh, and it was great for the kiddos uh, that went out trick-or-treating. Uh, now, I live in a building, so trick-or-treaters do not come to my door. Um, but um, my husband and I did dress up uh, for Halloween. Um, I did post a photo of what I uh, dressed up as um, on my community page, so you can check that out. Um, and yeah, my husband and I just walked around our neighborhood and just came back home and watch the hockey game, who watch the Leafs game, and had some popcorn, and uh, yeah, and um, earlier in the week we had a friend come for a visit, and uh, yeah, and uh, we went on a bit of a road trip, we went to Cambridge, um, Ontario, not very far from Guelph, Ontario, where I live, um, uh, and, uh, yeah, we went to Conestoga Mall, I checked out the Bath and Body Works there, um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun, uh, during our week off, um, it was actually our wedding anniversary, um, on October the 27th, we were celebrating seven years, uh, and, uh, yeah, so we went out for uh, a nice breakfast, and we went out for a nice dinner, and uh, yeah, so um, for this video, um, I'm going to be showing you guys some items I had picked up from Bath and Body Works. Um, and after this video, I have a fine fragrance mist um, haul to show you. And then I have a, a epic candle haul to show you. So I did not want to include everything in this one video, only because I don't want this video to be incredibly long. So for this video, I'm just going to show you the little things I had picked up here and there uh, at Bath & Body Works. Um, so uh, I don't have the receipts anymore for these, uh, but uh, you bet I did use coupons in store. and. Uh, uh, a few of these items were actually on sale, so I did not actually pay full price for them. Um, for those who shop at Bath & Body Works, quite often, like I do, know not to pay full prices for items at Bath & Body Works. Uh, I would suggest always waiting for a um, set price sale, use coupons as much as possible. Uh, and uh, I mentioned... Um, Tessa's blog down below um, in the past. Um, she has a blog actually uh, uh, called um, Life Inside the Page and she has the inside scoop with uh, what's going on with Bath and Body Works with sales and products um, upcoming. And uh, now because I'm Canadian and she's from the US, uh, when I um, look at her blog, I kind of, as I mentioned before, take everything with a grain of salt because or it just gives me an idea of what's to come. Uh, being here in Canada, I know that we don't get everything like in the US and of course our, the price points are not the same and sometimes our sales are not the same. Uh, I would say... Um, some of the major sales, uh, like the Fine Fragrance Mist um, sales, uh, do coincide together at the same time. And they're usually the same price point, anywhere from $4.95 to $5.95. Uh, 
Uh, I would say, um, and sometimes our candle sales uh, do happen at the same time, but they do, again, they do vary in price um, here in Canada. Uh, as I mentioned before, the price points here in Canada are, are slightly higher, uh, only because um, Canada is considered, uh, Bath & Body Works is uh, one of their um, international markets. So that's why the price points are higher here. Plus we pay higher uh, in taxes here in Canada. Um, but I would say Canada and the US tend to coincide with the same seasons. Uh, like I, I, there are a couple Bath & Body Works YouTubers I watch um, that are from the UK. And it seems like uh, the products that they're getting now for winter and Christmas are uh, products that I actually hauled last year in 2023. So they're actually, it seems like they're um, a season behind um, of, uh, of products. So uh, yeah, so, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get started. Um, and then I'm going to be showing you guys the major item I had picked up. I'm so excited that I had picked up this one item. Uh, and uh, yeah, so um, I'm not sure if I showed you guys these two items before, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. Um, there was a lip care sale uh, a while ago, um, just bef like before Halloween, and I picked up a lip gloss in pumpkin spice. This one's really good. Sorry, I have been using it, so it is open. Um, yeah, this one is really good. Um, and uh, yeah, I only picked it up in the um, lip gloss. I love their lip glosses, by the way. And I also picked up this one, Sweet Coffee Bean. I love uh, coffee, and this is right up my alley. This one's really good. Again, I have been using this. So that's why it's open, but yeah, I love Sweet Coffee Bean um, in the lip gloss. And uh, they do come in um, lip scrubs, uh, lip masks, uh, and I think uh, lip balms as well, but I only picked up the lip glosses. I prefer picking up their lip glosses as opposed to anything else. Um, and um, yeah, so next, uh, there was a um, hand soap sale happening a while ago. Um, now, um, I did pick up a lot of uh, hand soaps uh, during the fall season uh, or early fall season. So I'm good with, we're good with uh, hand soaps. Uh, we don't have any uh, holiday hand soaps right now. We have a lot of fall and we do have Halloween. Uh, it doesn't really matter to us because... Uh, we use any kind of soap any time of the year. Um, and, uh, but, um, yeah, come winter SES, I may pick up some more winter uh, hand soaps or Christmas hand soaps, but uh, I only picked up one. Um, this one's new, at least to me. Um, this one is whipped um, white cocoa. Uh, this is the gentle and clean foaming hand soap. Um, the packaging is adorable, um, and the set notes for this, uh, is white chocolate, frothy milk, and whipped cream. Um, so yeah, I think these were either $3.95 or $2.95, I can't remember, but, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, that is the one hand soap I had picked up for the holidays. Um... <clears throat> and uh, yeah, right now we're using, we're still using vampire blood uh, in our um, bathroom. Uh, we're using a uh, vampire blood from last year, so or the year before. And um, in my kitchen, I'm currently using um, Perfect Pumpkin. Uh, so uh, yeah, so that is the hand soap I had picked up. And um, a while ago, um, uh, just uh, before Halloween, there was a um, hand sanitizer sale or pocket back hand sanitizer sale. 
Um, and the, I only picked up five. Uh, and um, I picked these up at um, Conestoga Mall in Cambridge, Ontario. I just happened to be there. And uh, of course, uh, that mall has a white barn uh, Bath and Body Works store. So of course, I walked in to check out what was available there. Um, and uh, unfortunately, body care was not on sale. I think uh, it was like buy one, get one free at the time, uh, which to me is like basically 50% off which to me is not a good deal anyways like I said always wait for a set price sale um so yeah the pocket back um uh hand sanitizers were a dollar so of course I had to pick up some holiday ones um and um <clears throat> yeah so I've been going through the hand sanitizers that I have quite quickly and so yeah I just want to stock up on holiday ones so the first one I had picked up is Vanilla B Noel I absolutely love Vanilla B Noel uh, this is my uh, one of my favorites during the holiday season um, <clears throat> and I would, of course I picked up a winter candy apple and by the way winter candy apple is celebrating their 25th anniversary at uh, Bath and Body Works so can you believe it uh, Winter Candy Apple has been around for 25 years. Crazy. So uh, I love Winter Candy Apple. And actually, this is my scent of the day, uh, Winter Candy Apple. So uh, I'm loving that. Um, <clears throat> next, um, <clears throat> this is a Black Cherry Frost. Um, and next, uh, this is White Oak and Vanilla. Of course, I had to pick this up because of the kitty cats on the label there and uh, by the way uh, once I use up all of these uh, hand sanitizers I will definitely uh, peel off the labels and put these in my scrapbook so um, that's what I've been doing with my Bath and Body Works uh, products as I mentioned uh, once they're used up I will peel off the labels or I will take photos of them um, if I can't peel off the labels so to put them in my scrapbook <clears throat> and uh, uh, next one, the last one is Gingerbread uh, Bakery. This one's really good. Um, I believe this is in a candle this year, uh, but I only picked it up uh, in the hand sanitizer so far. And um, <clears throat> I could not resist this pocket back holder. Um, it's absolutely adorable. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> And uh, I don't have any holiday or Christmas uh, pocket back holders, believe it or not. I used to have a gingerbread man um, many years ago, and uh, I ended up giving that one away to someone. Um, so, uh, yeah, I no longer have any um, Christmas or winter uh, pocket back holders. But anyways, I picked up this uh, pretzel. It's so cute, this frosted pretzel. Um, yeah, so it's absolutely adorable. And this was $6.95 here in Canada. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, I really like uh, the uh, pocket back holder. So I will put this on my purse um, very soon. So, um, and next, um, I had picked up a um, holiday um, wallflower plug-in. Uh, I, the thing is, I don't have any winter um, Christmas uh, wallflower plugs. I have Halloween and fall, and I do have um, a summertime one. But yeah, the majority of what I own are. Uh, Halloween and and I have one fall one uh, but uh, yeah this one had to come home with me it's absolutely adorable I believe this is actually sold out on the Canadian website right now I'm not sure if this is still available in store I actually do have my eye on um, another uh, Christmas one and which I probably will pick up in store at some point um, it's uh, it's a great kitty uh, and it's there's a sign on there that says uh, Santa Paws. It's absolutely adorable. 
Um, it, like I said, it's a great kitty uh, with a Santa hat and it just reminds me of Bloke. Um, and for you, for the, all of the, all of you who don't know who Bloke is, um, Bloke is a kitty cat my husband and I uh, used to have. Uh, sadly, uh, Bloke had passed away during the pandemic, um, <clears throat> and uh, he was a gray uh, British short hair. And I absolutely um, love that uh, wallflower plug. It's basically Bloke to me. So yeah, that is going to come home with me hopefully very soon but I picked up this one instead um, <clears throat> I have an obsession with snowmen and uh, yeah so this one had to come home with me um, it's the jeweled uh, snowman it's absolutely adorable this uh, does light up and it's uh, it's a scent control um, wallflower plug which is uh, an extra bonus. Um, so these are quite pricey here in Canada. This was nor this was at twenty dollars and ninety five cents because it's a scent control one, uh, and they're usually a little bit more expensive. But of course, I used a coupon, so uh, this was less than twenty dollars for sure. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this little guy. It's not too Christmassy, um, and uh, living here in Canada, uh, where I live, um, it is it gets cold uh, quite a bit. Um, I would say mainly during the months of January, February, right right up until April still. So, um, yeah, so um, this can be plugged into our um, bathroom all, all the way up, up until then. So, um, so, yeah, I absolutely love this little guy. I'm happy to have picked him up. Um, and um, the last item is a candle holder. <clears throat> yes, I'm shocked. I picked up another Christmas three wick candle holder from Bath and Body Works. I picked up one last year um, in which was the vintage ornaments uh, and I absolutely love that one. Um, and f for me to pick up a candle holder from Bath and Body Works um, or at least a um, one that's not a candle sleeve uh, um, would have to be really special to me or I absolutely have to love it a lot um, and I do um, I did pick up uh, a while ago uh, during the Halloween season or beginning of the season the black and purple jack-o'-lantern uh, which uh, is on top of uh, a shelf in my living room right now I, I actually did remove the batteries um, so they won't corrode so yes, um, if you have a battery operated candle holder from Bath & Body Works, I would suggest taking uh, out the batteries so they will not corrode. Uh, so yes, I do have them in my living room. I also have the Skull King from Halloween um, from 2022. Uh, and uh, the snake, the gold snake uh, candle holder that my husband picked up is also in our living room. So yes, uh, even though we un, um, pretty much uh, undecorated for Halloween um, for this year, some of our Halloween decor does uh, stay up all year round. My husband and I love Halloween, so um, some of it does stay up all year round. So, um, so what you can see in front of you, this is a little bucket here, or a little ceramic piece that we got from Yankee Candle quite a few years ago. And inside we are keeping our um, lighters uh, for when we uh, light up our candles. Um, so we decided to keep this on our kitchen island. And there are a couple of uh, Halloween sleeve, candle sleeves here in front of you as well. But anyways, um, yeah, I picked up a second... Uh, Christmas candle holder. This is totally my aesthetic. Um, they do have a few others in store. There's like a, a Santa, ch there's a chim chimney, a water globe one with Santa, uh, 
coming through the uh, chimney, which I'm not a fan of. It looks kind of weird to me. I know a lot of people love that one, but it's just, I don't know, I just don't like it enough to, to purchase it. There's a teddy bear this year, um, which uh, every time I see it, guys, I, I actually laugh to myself. Uh, it's cute and all, but um, being Canadian, when I look at that candle holder, I think of the craft peanut butter bears. Um, and hold on for a second, I'm just going to show you guys what I mean um, to all my US subscribers. Uh, so I'm just going to... So... Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is what the um, Christmas bear uh, candle holder reminds me of uh, when um, at Bath and Butter Bricks right now. It just reminds me of the craft um, bears here <laughs> of, that you could see that uh, that you see in front of you. Yeah, this is the, that's what the candle holder reminds me of. Um, it's adorable. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Like these little bears here. So yeah, it just, it just, I don't know, it just makes me laugh. So um, that is not, it's not my aesthetic. So I'm passing on that one. And there, they do have a polar bear one, I believe, um, uh, which is quite glittery. Uh, and uh, yeah, so um, it, although it's pretty, again, it's very, it's very glittery um, heavy. So yeah. But um, yeah, I absolutely fell in love with this one. This is the Peppermint Candy Cane um, candle holder from Bath & Body Works this year. I absolutely love it. Um, uh, and um, this one is totally right up my alley. Um, it's just really pretty. Um, and um, funny enough, um, in in people's videos, I, I thought this candle holder was a little bit bigger, uh, but it's actually not. It's quite short um, than I thought it was. Um, and um, this one, I feel like it's going to sell out really quickly in stores. I, I don't, I no longer see it on the Canadian website, so I'm, I'm thinking it is sold out. Um, luckily, I did find this uh, at my local store. Um, um, when I went to pick this one up, finally, there was none on the floor. Um, the time before that, I actually went into my store. Um, they had two on the floor, but like I said, the last time I was at the store, they had none on the, on the floor. So I ended up asking one of the store clerks if by any chance they had any of these uh, candle holders left. And she went into their back room and sure enough, I was lucky they she did end up finding one for me. So um, yeah, if you can't find something at Bath and Body Works on the floor, always ask the store clerk because you never know what they have in store. Um, so yeah, um, I was really happy to pick this one up. I will definitely display this one during the holiday season. And after the holiday season, I will make room for this in my craft room. So it just, it's giving me, um, yeah, it's giving me like maybe Nightmare Before Christmas type of vibes as well. Uh, I could always uh, alter it to that um, as well. But yeah, this is how it looks like with a candle. I don't know if you guys could see that, but that's how it looks like. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy um, with my purchases so far. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's my little um, haul um, from Bath & Body Works. Uh, so, again, stay tuned for a Fine Fragrance Mist haul and a major candle haul uh, coming up soon. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye now.